hey, hi. I'm Chris, and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just checking out this sandstone here and going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says, how does sandstone form? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need some sand, a container, some water, and some Epsom salt. Today, I am going to show you how to make your very own sandstone right at home. So, the first thing you're going to need is sand. Because you can't make sandstone without it. Durr, durr, durr. <laughs> okay, and then you want to get yourself a cup. Because you can't make sandstone without it. Well, I'm out of all, okay, you can, but you know what? This method is a whole lot easier, okay? Pour your sand into your cup. <laughs> Next, you want to get yourself some warm water. Whoop, not that kind of water. Of course, I'm talking about this kind of water. And then you want to grab yourself some Epsom salt. I got mine from my mother's side. Ha <laughs> Killing! You can get this from any pharmacy near you. Okay, you're gonna take your Epsom salt and you're gonna pour it in your jar of water. Now, shake this up to dissolve the Epsom salt. Woo, it looks like a snow globe. You're gonna take this water and you're gonna pour it over in a cup of sand. Then pour out any excess water. Now, take your cup of salty sand and you're gonna set it in a warm, dry place and leave it there for a week. Now check this out! In about a week, you'll get little pieces of sandstone like this. Now that's so wicked cool! So, how does a sandstone form? And how does sandstone form in nature? Well, don't look at me! Take a closer look at this. As air and water break apart rocks into tiny pieces through erosion, these tiny pieces, known as sediments, begin to collect on the Earth's surface. When sediment layers build up on top of each other due to wind, rivers, and oceans depositing these sediments, the bottom layers begin to get crushed from the weight above. This pushes sand grains closer together, forming a hard layer of sediment. Over millions of years, as water evaporates, minerals like quartz and silicates begin to crystallize between these grains, until eventually the sediment turns into a hard rock known as sandstone. Your sandstone formed when the Epsom salt crystallized between the sand grains, holding the sand grains together. Almost all the fossils we find here on Earth are found in sandstone. Igneous rocks would burn up any dead organic material into ash, and metamorphic rocks would crush and obliterate any left-behind fossils. Sandstone simply just sandwiches fossils between layers, allowing fossils to harden into rock, keeping them there for millions of years. So now you know how sandstone forms. You know, making your own sandstone right at home is why science is so cool. Ha 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 